Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Welcome back. Problem one point eleven. So the statement of problem is the form for arm and bicep supports the two kg load at point A. So this is a two kg load that is support by form arm and bicep. If C can be assumed as a pin support, determine the resultant internal loading acting on the cross section of the bone bone of form arm at E. The bicep pull on the bone along BD. So if C is considered as pin support, so you have to find the internal loading at point E. So let's start and we will draw the free body free body diagram for this problem. So again, it is given that bicep pull the bone along the BD. So at BD there will be a force. So I will draw the force like this. The BD will act as this. Clear. So this is. F B D. Clear. At point A, the load that is acting downward, so this load will be downward, and this will be equal to uh, two kg load. So mass is two kg, so its weight will be equal to two into nine point eight. So that eight one newton. Clear. Also. C is considered to be pin support, so uh, when you remove the pin support, so there will be a horizontal force as well as vertical force, and this force is C X and this force is C Y. The angle here is given as seventy five degree. Hence, the angle which this F B D makes with horizontal is seventy five de degree. So we will solve it. For finding the reaction force F B D, etc. Clear. So let move and solve this. For that we will apply uh, the first condition that sum of all moment about point C is equal to zero, and taking counterclockwise moment as positive. So you can see the moment about point C is due to this load, which is equal to uh, two into. Nine point eight one clear into perpendicular distance is given as two point three zero thirty five thirty five. So from here to here, this distance, if I convert it into meter, so it will be equal to zero point zero seven, and this distance is zero point two three meter. So again, their sum must be equal to three, is zero point three. Meter, so perpendicular distance is zero point three. Now one one thing you should know that uh, this F B D has if we convert it into its rectangular component, so it will have two component. One will be F B D Y, and other will be F B D X. F B D, I will write it F B D. X. So F B D Y is equal to B D Y is equal to F B D sine of seventy five degree, and F B D X X is equal to F B D cos of seventy five degree. Clear? So Now the force which is producing moment about point C is F B D Y, and this F B D Y is equal to F B D sine of seventy five degree, and perpendicular distance will be equal to this zero point zero seven, and it is producing counterclockwise moment, so it will be positive. And this force, which is two my two point nine eight, is also producing moment that is written, and it is clockwise, so it will be negative. So their sum must be equal to zero. When you calculate this, you will get F B the value of F B D. So F B D will be equal to eighty seven point zero five 
newton now we have the value of fbd we will apply the second equilibrium condition that sum of all force along x direction is equal to zero and force in this direction is taken as positive so two forces are acting horizontally one is cx another is fbd x their sum must be equal to zero so cx is in positive direction while fbdx which is equal to fbd cos of 75 degree their sum must be equal to zero you have the value of fbd i will write it cx minus 87.05 into cos of 75 degree their sum must be equal to zero so from here you will get the value of cx which is 22.53 newton now we will find cy so for cy we will apply equilibrium condition that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and upward force is taken as positive so one force that is acting upward is cy the second force is this one clear fbdy and the third force is this one their sum must be equal to zero so one force that is acting upward is fbd sine of 75 so fbd is 87.05 into sine of 75 degree the second force is minus 2 into 9.8 and the third force is again minus cy their sum must be equal to zero so from here we can get the value of cy which comes out to be 64.47 newton now we have all the reaction forces we can find the internal loading at point e so if you look at this joint and you will draw the free body diagram it would be look like this this is point e when you cut point e so there will be a shear force that is ve there will be a normal force that will be ne and there will be a moment that is me and this is point c where there is two forces acting one is cx and other is cy so again you have to apply the boundary condition and you will solve for finding this internal loading at point e so let's move sum of all force along x direction must be equal to zero and force in this direction is taken as positive so two forces are acting one is cx and other is plus ne clear their sum must be equal to zero so it means that ne is equal to minus cx and is equal to minus 22.53 newton the negative sign shows that ne should be in this direction in opposite to the direction that is given in free body diagram now we will find the other uh, force that is shear force by using sum of all force along y direction is equal to 0 and taking upward force is positive so only upward force are cy and vy so their sum must be equal to 0 so minus ve is e minus ve minus cy is equal to 0 so it means that ve is equal to minus cy and this minus cy is minus cy is 64.47 newton again v is acting downward we have assumed the ve acting as down downward as negative and here the value of e is minus so it means that assumed direction is wrong the ve should be acting upward for finding the moment external moment the sum of all moment must be equal to zero about e and taking counter clockwise as positive now you can see the only force that is producing moment about point e is this ce force and there is a external moment reaction moment is also available so cy 
into perpendicular distance from point let me show you from point C to E is 0 point uh, it is 35 millimeter or 0 0.035 meter here so CY into 0 0.035 meter and the up the uh, uh, this force is producing counterclockwise movement so it is also positive and the reaction movement is also counterclockwise so me is equal there sum must be equal to zero so from here you can get put the value of cy cy is equal to 64.47 and perpendicular distance is minus uh, plus 0 0.035 is equal to minus M E. So it means that M E is equal to minus 2.26 Newton into meter. Again, in free body diagram, we have taken the reaction moment as clock counterclockwise, and here the value of Me is minus 2.26. It means that our assumed direction here in free body free body diagram is wrong, and you have to take the uh, Me as clock Me in clockwise direction. So, in this way, we have find out the internal loading at point C. So, this was Ne. This is Ve, and this is Me. I hope you have understand these are very easy problem basic problem for finding the internal loading thank you for watching the videos